Welcome everyone to the presentation of this week's itemizers show with Spencer and Stephanie. Now, I gave you two a very detailed and limiting thing to do. Yeah, it was yeah. very specific. Concept. That's what I was looking for. So it was pretty specific, so I apologize. I was just, you know, thinking about, about it in the moment. Got a little bit moment. frisky with the idea. The last moment, some might say. The last moments, like I always do. So first off, let's see your guys' characters. Oh, yeah. This it's one's mine. Oh, it's so it's cute. A pumpkin. Is he a pumpkin man? Oh, that looks like that weird Pikachu thing. It ah. is the weird Pikachu thing. What weird Pikachu it's uh, Mimikyu. You know the, the weird new, Pikachu new thing? The weird janky looking Pikachu? He poses as other Pokemon ever seen and that. he has a creepy face. Look at that. Hey, little guy. Oh. I like his eyes. Without further ado, let's play the different videos here and uh, see first? what you guys produce. Spencer first. Should we flip a coin? Oh, you want no, me yeah, to go we first? We did rock, so paper, scissors scared. last time. Let's flip a coin. Do we have a coin? Does everybody have a coin? No one carries coins anymore. Spencer has coins on his desk right there. Okay, go. Tails. Tails. <gasps> All right. When I won last time, they're like, "Okay, Dan, you go first. And I'm like, "Wait, I don't get it." Okay. Okay, fine. I'll go first and stand went first. Yeah. My Patronus is a dolphin. I just found <laughs> I don't out. Wanna I'm do very that excited. So bad. In the world but I just want to. I want to know what my patron Patronus. Dan, what was Patrol yours? You had Patrolium. a raven Patrolium. hawk. I want to know what my petroleum charm is. <laughs> I had a sparrow. Sparrow. Expecto hawk. petroleum. Hello, world. I'm Stephanie Sarconi. In October 1980, Namco released a game that would change. The world. Whoa, <laughs> this is I love this you may zoom. know as Pac-Man. In the game Pac-Man, you play as Pac-Man, <laughs> and you eat as many dots as you can before the four enemies devour you. These four enemies are widely known as the ghosts. There's the red one, Blinky. Oh, spooky this is. The aqua Thank one, you. Inky. The pink one, Pinky. And the yellow one, Clyde. <laughs> but Do you know those are their names? But not know is that there was a fifth ghost. <laughs> this documentary will show you the fifth ghost and why he did not make the cut. Mr. Gooey, thank you so much oh, for being here today him. with us. It truly is a pleasure. No, oh, well, I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> hey, that's Dan. What's a day in the life like with Mr. Gooey? Well, I was just recently released. Typical day for me would be I have wake up and have my morning coffee, watch Game of Thrones. Oh, I mean, yeah. Shit, I mean, that, <laughs> that was is fantastic. One damn fine show on the TV. And uh, then I'll just, uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, watch more TV. That sounds quite lovely. What was Wait, he doing did you there, say released? Steph? He was masturbating. From where? No, I, I didn't mean to say that. No comment uh, at this time about that. Okay, then. Well, Mr. Gooey, let's get right down to it. Please. Take us back to 1975 when you began training for the game. What happened? Well, it took off. I was couldn't tell no one where I was off to. I, I just one day was taken to the base and that was it. And the other ghosts, what are they like? I'm quite a Blinky fan myself. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> you have a hair on your eye. <laughs> I know. Uh, I the know. other ghosts, they were all right for little bitches, I guess. Well, take care, um, training was no problem until uh, the dots. The dots? Yeah, the dots, you deaf son of a bitch, the dots! See, that's one of the biggest parts of the training is we had to be trained not to eat the dots. Them little fuckers all over the board for Mr. Pack. That was their one rule, don't eat the dots. They're there for Mr. Pack, but dots, you know, they're so good. Very, very hard to come by. They're a delicacy where I'm from. I used to just mash them up and inject them in my tentacles. Mm, uh, so good. Mr. Gooey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What in the world? Mr. Gooey? I just couldn't stop eating them. They were just oh, so fucking good. Fuck all you. Fuck all them. I need my dogs. Give me my fucking dogs. <laughs> 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 oh. Well, I think I understand. <laughs> Man, that what was the fantastic. World? That was really good. Nice oh, job. I like it a lot. Nice. I think I understand why his eyes are all bloodshot. Stephanie, shot. at he one point high. I saw your hand in frame. <laughs> Fuck, was it? I, you know how hard it is to shake that little guy without being in the no, frame? No, it was It was that the you had like pulled your hand away for a shot. I think uh, one thing well, you can that respect. That was my only critique. <laughs> one thing you can really respect about both of our videos is that it's all practical effects. Oh. Yeah. I was out, well, I'll, I'll was explain so mine afterwards, okay. but okay. all practical that effects. Good. That, that was good. good. That was very good. Okay. I liked that a lot. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to International Discovery. We have quite an amazing find today. 
Today we find ourselves wandering one of the most elusive species on the face of the planet. It has no name because it has never officially been observed in its true form. Like the hermit crab, it finds <laughs> items within its environment to shield or hide itself from the outside world. Dino this specific creature has found a foam microphone cover that it looks like the one using right now, and various bits of refuse oh, okay. to protect itself from the harsh world. The creature has very strange movements. He tends to move very fast at once and not fast at all. He explores the local area trying to find <laughs> other species to blend in with, sadly, to no avail. Now earlier we had a cameraman go in and try to film the creature close up. He's right there! Go get him! Go get him! <laughs> No wonder everyone was watching. Oh, he was not very <laughs> fond of this and killed our cameraman. <laughs> now we've set up stationary cameras around the perimeter, hopefully to catch the creature in its local habitat. <gasps> now he's quite a cheeky fellow, trying to blend in cheeky with species fellow. that don't seem to match his own, but sadly <laughs> yeah, he does not belong and leaves quite too. swiftly. Oh, After being turned down <laughs> by the ants, <laughs> he now finds himself high up in these flowers. Hopefully he can find some peace. He found some tracks oh. heading back to where he lives. Look at him go. Hopefully, we can catch him in his true form. Now, we've just seen him. He went inside oh. of this refuse bin. We're going to see if we can get a closer look. Please stick with us. We have a cameraman on the scene. He's going to run up and try to catch him off guard. Oh, we're first glimpses. It's removed its little coven. It has quite a fleshy body. Oh, there goes the head. Oh, oh, oh no! That's no, a no, no, no. This Was creature's that, literally up. Was that? Oh. Is this real? Well, this is a Spencer, dick. what in the world? It's, it's turning around. Okay, come on. Th now this is just a dick with another dick on it. Ah, fuck this. Turn this camera off. What? Wait. So, you're saying that your monster the whole time was two penises? <laughs> no, it's a penis with a smaller penis on it. Spencer, it's what in the world? <laughs> it's a creature. What? Don't hate upon a creature with such a. a Why'd you miss origin. the blur? The blur? I didn't miss the blur. No, the, he did. The box. It's live, Jordan. I can't affect it. Yeah, this that's is what live documenting. Fun. If we didn't see it, we just see a box and wonder what it's talking about. Where'd that dick come about. from? Yeah, where'd you It was it? a live dick. Practical oh, effects, my friend. That wasn't practical effects. Yeah, oh. it was actually a very, very good PNG I found online that yeah, I yeah. that I, I crafted with the camera. What? Yeah. So there Damn, were special Spencer's. effects. There were. It was practical with special. Oh, it's like, it's goodness, like Mad Max. What in the that world? So <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. So what do you think? I was feeling that bad was for so the good. creature at first. It was yeah, so cricket. He's just trying to live out in his world. How can you hate upon him? So a nature documentary for Spencer yes. and a uh, what, what would you even call that? Like a video dark game. behind the scenes documentary yeah. revealing behind tell, the video game. Tell all. It's kind of like an addiction show. Oh yeah, yeah. That's uh, what I was going for. I hope you enjoyed okay. mine, Jordan. Yeah, well, you know, they were both very Spencer. interesting. They're both very interesting. I, I really am Spencer's. enjoying the creativity that's going into these. You no, know, so. I yeah. stuck a stick up. That little thing, and I was just walking around the field like this beneath the camera. Is that when you were like, man, you should have seen people, they were looking at me? Yeah, I was like laying on the ground like this. <laughs> yeah, the I know, right? <laughs> they were probably like, oh. goodness. Well, you know, they both turned out very well. So now it's up to you guys, the fans. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's up to you guys, the fans, to vote. We are going to have both video links so you can watch them separately without our commentary on them. And then the Twitter poll will be in the description, so you can vote on which one you think is best. And then on Monday, we will be going over the results and choosing the winner, and then going on to the next round for next week. Yep, that's how it works. Do you have an item? Congratulations, directors. Get your items prepared if you win, and we'll see what happens, guys. Great job. Thanks.